Hey guys, Corey with Palmetto Battery Pros, and today we're going to be doing a lithium conversion on a 2020 Club Car Onward. It is a very similar installation to a Club Car President 2010 Plus. We are going to be installing the 51 volt, 160 amp hour lithium golf cart battery by Eco. So stick around and we'll go through it step by step. As always, make sure your key is in the off position and put your golf cart in tow. Remove the old lead acid batteries and completely clean out the battery compartment. Now that the tray has been completely cleaned out, we can go ahead and start removing some trim and the floor mat. Start by using your T30 to remove these two torque screws. Remove the four T40 torque screws that hold the side trim pieces down. Pull your mat back or remove it. Next, there are three T40 torque screws holding down the uh, trim piece here. Using something flat or some trim pullers, go ahead and pop the plastic cap over your charge receptacle. Once you remove those, you can go ahead and pull the trim piece out. So while we're down here, let's go ahead and replace the charge receptacle. There are three wires on the back side. You can trace them back to the solenoid and controller and disconnect them there, or you can cut and cap them in the battery tray. On the front side of the charge receptacle, there are three Phillips head screws again. Go ahead and remove those and retain. Now you can remove the charge receptacle and insert the eco battery replacement charge receptacle, which is 120 volt. Using those same three screws, go ahead and put the new receptacle back in place. Now we are going to run the LCD wiring harness and the long orange wire from the 12 volt reducer wiring harness from the battery compartment up to the dash. And we're going to secure it to the existing wiring harnesses along the way. Using your T30, remove the left and right torque screws. Then with your T15, remove the torque screw on the top of the dash panel. Go ahead and gently remove your dash panel. So we're going to be installing the eco battery voltage meter in place of the existing voltage meter. Using a 2 and 1 16 hole saw or a 2 inch hole saw, go ahead and make your hole in your dash and slide your voltage meter in. Use the provided bracket to secure it to the back side of the dash and tighten down the two 8 millimeter nuts. Plug the LCD wiring harness into the back side of the LCD meter. It's a 6 and 4 pin so you're not going to get them backwards. Then you can hide the slack in the dash. While we're in the dash, we're going to go ahead and run the long orange from the 12 volt reducer wiring harness up to the dash area. And we're going to be tying it into the cold side of the key switch. So when you turn the key switch on, the switch closes and your 12 volt supply is activated. I recommend using a posi tap or a dual spade connector. But once you have everything squared away in the dash, you can go ahead and put it back together. So now we can go ahead and start preparing the battery tray. The first thing we're going to do is put our mounting brackets in place and it uses a J hook to secure it to the bar that runs underneath the battery tray. So go ahead and insert the J hook, tighten the nut just enough to keep the bracket in place. So this is the most difficult part of the job and you're going to want somebody to help you because you're going to be lifting the battery in and out of the tray just a couple times but you're gonna to wanna to set the battery on top of the brackets and make sure everything's lined up. Once both brackets are lined up, remove the battery, install the left and right self-tapping screws, and tighten the nut on each bracket. At this point, I recommend modifying the tray a little bit. You can see I cut this area of the tray out. It's just plastic. I was careful not to cut anything else. This will allow the wiring harnesses to fit under the battery without having to pull them really hard. So you can see here that it is going to be really important to put all the harnesses as low and flat as you can. So when we set the battery on top, everything is underneath and not pinched. The club car onward has an OEM 12 volt reducer for lights and accessories. 
The blue and the black wires on this factory wiring harness is the 48 supply to the OEM voltage reducer. We will extend them and put them to the battery terminals. For a club car precedent, this factory harness is the 12 volt supply for the lights and we would extend these and connect them to the output of the eco battery 12 volt reducer. If you have a club car onward, you do not need the eco battery reducer. This onward customer requested the eco battery reducer be installed as a backup. At this point, you can go ahead and use some self tapping screws to mount your charger and your 12 volt reducer in place. So I like to utilize areas between the shell and the battery tray to hide wire to give it a good no look. So I ran my charger input wire around and behind and I'm going to run it into back into the battery tray and then I'll plug it into the back of the charge receptacle. The 12 volt reducer wiring harness, we've already run the long orange up to the key switch. So now we have four other wires, which is our 48 volts input and our 12 volt output. Plug the wiring harness into the 12 volt reducer. All right, now you can go ahead and put the battery in place and secure it down to the mounting brackets using the provided hardware. Go ahead and screw the LCD wiring harness into the port on the side of the battery. And you'll see that there's two small dangling ports off of this wiring harness near where it connects to the battery. And we are going to be plugging the small port from the charger into either one of these dangling ports here. So we're creating a communication line between the charger and the battery. And for this cart, I did not use the third and smaller plug that is on the charger output. So I secured it behind the battery tray. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and hook everything up to the battery terminals. So we're gonna start with the positive side and we go uh, smallest to biggest, biggest touch in the terminal. The smallest item is going to be the factory OEM voltage reducer input. The next item is the charger output positive. And the last item touching the terminal is our main positive cable from the golf cart. Once you have those together, go ahead and get them to the terminal and tighten it down using your 13 millimeter wrench. And when you're finished, go ahead and put the terminal protector in place. Next, we'll do the same thing for the negative side. Start smallest to biggest. Smallest is the ground for our factory OEM voltage reducer. Next is the negative from our charger output. And the final item is our main negative cable, which runs to the B negative post on our controller. Go ahead and tighten it down and put the terminal cover in place. Okay, now we can go ahead and test the cart for operation. You can turn your battery on, the LCD meter will illuminate. Put the cart in run. Turn your key switch on, put your cart in forward or reverse and lightly hit the gas just to make sure that we have cart operation. And once you have card operation, I recommend going ahead and max charging that battery right off the bat. So we will plug our heavy duty extension cord into the AC port and the onboard charger will kick on and run a complete charge cycle. It will shut off when finished. Now we can go ahead and take this cart for a test drive and get it back to the customer and he's gonna be really excited. That is it for the Eco Battery 51 volt 160 amp hour installation video into a Club Car Onward or Club Car Precedent 2010 Plus. We appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we will answer them as soon as we can. You can also call me weekdays 9 to 5 Eastern at Palmetto Battery Pros. If you are interested in purchasing this battery, please give us a call at Palmetto Battery Pros. You can also shop online at palmettobatterypros.com. We assist our customers through the purchasing process, installation, and throughout ownership. As always, hit that like and subscribe button. We have more unboxing, installation, and comparison videos coming out on these types of batteries. So we hope to see you next time. We appreciate you watching. Thanks, y'all.